Hi, in this very short video, I'm going to show you one of the main advantages of a lensatic compass. By and large, in Civil Air Patrol, you will not be encouraged to rely solely on a lensatic, but it does have one advantage um, over an orienteering compass, um, and that is accuracy of uh, azimuth. And let me show you how this works. As you know, with an orienteering compass, you hold it at waist level with your elbows tight to your body and using two hands. I can't use two hands because I'm holding the camera. Then you move your body so that you're facing the object on which you want to draw an azimuth. And in this case, it's this tree straight ahead. What is the azimuth to this tree? So I face the tree, I hold the compass using two hands, which again, I'm not doing right now. And then you rotate the ring so that it bears north. We're taking a magnetic reading now. So I'm going to north, not um, uh, toward the um, uh, adjusted north. Then you take your bearing here. I've already adjusted that ring. And according to this, that tree is bearing two, three, five degrees. There's the tree bearing two, three, five degrees. Now, a lensatic compass is a little bit different. And here you see a lensatic. And my example of it, the, the dial isn't um, rotating very well anymore. Uh, but I just wanted to show you how this works and the advantage it has in the field. And that is this. If you look at this sighting ring, which is on the um, cover of the compass, and this part right here, you'll notice it looks like a gun or a pistol. And in fact, that's exactly how you use it. You get... A, you take a sighting to the tree and you line up the center ring, the center line in the middle of this um, uh, V in front, and then looking through this uh, part right here, you get a bearing and it's going, it's not in focus. Let me see if I can make it in focus. Um, you read the magnetic bearing right off there. And if it were in focus, you would see that it was two, three, four degrees. I'm sorry that I can't get that to focus. There we go. Two, three, four degrees. You see those, you see those marks and it is very, very accurate. Um, you can draw a comparison between that tree and that hammock frame and you can make distinctions in the field of as little as two or three degrees whereas in the um, orienteering compass uh, because of the inaccuracies from holding it at waist level and making sure everything is squared up it's a little bit harder to draw a precise bearing when you're maneuvering through the woods, a lensatic actually uh, is a little bit more accurate, a little bit more helpful. But because it lacks a, um, a lot of the guides of an orienteering compass um, that makes it useful on a map, we tend to uh, not encourage their use in Civil Air Patrol. But, you know, if you want to use it as a secondary compass, by all means.